Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Kai Caster with season five of Yellowstone on Paramount Network. Welcome to the show, man. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me, man. I'm, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty crazy. I mean, we're gonna get into it. I mean, there's already it's it's crazy that it's been you know five seasons already of Yellowstone. Like it just time has just flown by. Acting, storytelling. You've been doing this for quite some time. Did you always know there was something you wanted to do starting at a young age, or did it kind of happen a little later on? Yeah, no, I, I think I definitely uh, knew I had ambitions for it at a very young age, probably like four years old. I was starting to you know beg my parents to let me do it and whatnot. Yeah. Um, but I think it really started when I was about seven, because uh, my parents kind of tried to, you know, keep me from it as long as possible and, and ease me into it. And then uh, I met a, a great uh, casting director named Justine Badley, who uh, who kind of saw me just on the, the street or at a restaurant with my mom. And I just was throwing like a temper tantrum and, and just having like a big uh, outburst at like seven years old. And she was casting a Spike Jones movie, uh, Where the Wild Things Are. Yeah. And um, she kind of picked me out of the bunch and just just uh, had me audition for it and they loved me for it and then uh, I didn't end up getting to do it because of uh, contractual age stuff in Australia and whatnot yeah but uh, that kind of just got me going and, and started me on the whole journey yeah and now and now you know years later we're talking about season five of Yellowstone the rest is history right <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy to think about it like that, but yeah. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it's interesting because I feel like in terms of like auditioning or kind of getting involved with shows, there's a lot of different steps. I feel like it depends on the project and everything. What can you tell me specifically about your experience kind of auditioning and getting cast for Yellowstone specifically, Kai? Yeah, so um, funny enough, Taylor Sheridan was actually my acting coach growing up. He, oh, uh, that's crazy. <laughs> He approached me on my first auditions and everything and, yeah. and uh, really, you know, showed me the ropes at a young age. And um, but uh, he kind of thought of me in season one and uh, had me audition for Jimmy um, way back in season one as they were getting that together. And then uh, they obviously casted, you know, Jefferson White, who's amazing. And um, but then they ended up casting me as young Casey. Um, and then that we actually went out and filmed that and then or started filming that. And then uh, it didn't even we didn't even get to finish it because of weather stuff. And then we we're like, OK, so that's that's not happening yet. And then uh, Rowdy came along this, you know, this past year mm -hmm. and Taylor just kind of called me up and was like, hey, you know, this is your Rowdy. And so it kind of came full circle. It's been like a really long process. But, you know, Rowdy kind of ended up being the one that stuck. <laughs> no, absolutely. And it's interesting because, you know, this is something I was really excited to ask you because it has to do with like your character, but a lot of characters. I feel like one of the things about Yellowstone, which never leaves season after season, is there's always like tension between characters there's always something kind of happening um specifically with like where rowdy's kind of thrown in as well there's all this tension specifically what is that mindset specifically knowing that you're on a show where there is constant conflict there's no real kind of like escape or break from the conflict on yellowstone i'm just curious about that yeah i mean i think that you know with television in general especially television i think tension is is a is a very common theme for shows but i think with yellowstone they take it to a completely different level with with these tensions and, and how they really can you know just make you feel the tension as a viewer and as yeah. watching it myself throughout the years you know i've felt that tension and kind of been like on the edge of my seat and stressed out just watching it and i think it's helped honestly as a viewer to watch it grow as a show you know throughout the years that i could kind of relate to it more once i actually got you know in front of the camera and, and doing it but all in all i think tension and and drama and and uh you know just that darker and more intense you know vibe to a show is my favorite to to play i think that's the most fun you, you have the most fun with that you can really play around with it because with that with those kind of tensions there they're never just one way to do it it, it kind of takes your emotions in a roller coaster. So you can kind of be all over the place and play around with things, which I really like to do. A hundred percent. And I find it really interesting too, because like my next question too is 
there's so many kind of things and elements that I think people really love with this show. And like definitely the tension's one of them. But is tension or is it something else that's one that kind of stands up for you kind of as an actor on the show, just seeing kind of the reception and everything? Why do you think the show is so popular? Is there kind of an element that stands up to you besides the tension as well? Yeah, you know, I've been asked this before, and it's it's a tough question because I think that there's a lot of reasons why the show is successful. You know, I don't think you can point to to just one reason, but I think definitely the tensions and the and and the stakes of the show is, of course, one of the reasons. But I think uh, a big reason that I've noticed, and just from talking to people out in Montana and in, in Texas and stuff when I was shooting there, just locals and viewers and stuff, is I think a big thing that really made people attached to it is how how real it can be at times and how much attention to detail I think Taylor's written into it is that, you know, when, when, you know, real cowboys watch cowboy shows, I think the first thing they look at is, you know, is this, this what we really do? Or is this, you know, how it's really done or does it feel, can they relate to it in any way? And I think that this show out of any show that's done, you know, you know, Westerns and stuff like that, I think this show has a big focus on, on making it relatable to the audience that it's portraying. And, and I think that's a big reason I think it's successful is just because it is very relatable to audiences that live this life in a way and, and probably not in this this type of way or as intense as it gets but you know just the daily life and what they show on on, on it is is very relatable I think to a lot of a lot of people I think it's that a couple like with a combination of my next kind of question as well where the western has always been around like it's always been around Kai but I feel like you might agree with me on this. Like the last couple of years, maybe like we'll we'll say like five, six years, there has been this boom of immense kind of appetite and appeal for the Western. So what's it also like being on Yellowstone at a time now where there is such a big appeal for the Western genre? Arguably one of like the most appeal it's ever had genre-wise. Yeah, I mean, I think I think well. First off, it's it's a blessing. I mean, yeah. I think it's such a, a fun, you know, a fun world to jump into, especially being someone that's really not been part of that world much of their life and, and kind of just was thrown into it. Um, but I think, you know, I think it's also a great learning experience for me and, and, a, and a treat just to be able to dive into something that's completely foreign to me uh, to start out. But, you know, having the, you know, the cast that we have being as trained as they are after five seasons or, you know, four, four to five seasons is is just such a such a treat because they, they're they really welcoming and they they really showed me the ropes at Cowboy Camp and made me feel comfortable because, you know, they 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 said to me at the beginning, you know, it's it's a responsibility that we have kind of like what I was saying before that, you know, these viewers expect, you know, a sense of realness, you know, yeah. to a degree. And, and I think that there's nerves going into it, not not really being in that world ever. But, you know, the cast and the crew and, and our wranglers and, and the horse handlers and all of that are just really hands on. And they really like push push the topic of, you know, you got to be ready and you've got to really work hard until you get on camera because, you know, there's a lot of work that goes into it before you get on set and everything like that. And just like with any show, but with this, there's just a little bit extra, you know, to just to make sure that you're prepared to to deliver what the show needs. Different people have different kind of ways, like preparation, mindsets and stuff. But like, for me, like I thrive under the pressure sometimes with a lot of projects and everything, knowing that it's such a big show, right? And like you kind of said, there's so many expectations every season. Like, that's interesting as well, right? Because there is going to be kind of that pressure season to season. But I feel like a lot of people like, do you thrive under that pressure? Or do you just not think about it? You're in the zone. Like, what do you think about that specifically? Yeah, yeah, I, I totally agree with that. Yeah. I think that... <laughs> The, the more pressure, the better at times, just yeah. because you don't have the chance to think about it. I think overthinking is your biggest enemy because, you know, you are your biggest enemy at times. And and I think that when you're just thrown into it and, and you just have to go, there's no there's no, no other option but to go. So yeah. I think that that's the best way that I like to work as well. You know, it's just just going into it and, and not taking too much time dwelling on it or anything like that. And once you, it's the same thing with like going into a room for an audition, you know, you, you do what you got to do. You get in there. Once you're in there, you just let it go. And when you walk out of there, you have to let it go too. And yeah. I think that's you know, the best way to work in any scenario. I still think that people don't realize that like the job as an actor is like the auditions and the self tape. Like that's basically like what you do. Yeah. And then when yeah. you book something, that's almost kind of like the, Oh, all right. Like here's the, the, yeah. the <laughs> 
right? Like people don't realize that sometimes. <laughs> no, really, it, it really is that. Like it's I, I since I was a kid, like it's been. I mean, auditioning is. It's not that auditioning is terrible or anything. Like casting directors are great, yeah. and you know, there's so many casting directors that make you feel so comfortable and and as if you were on set and whatnot, and same thing on set. But mm -hmm. at the same time, it's kind of like you know, you're going in there, you're going to be nervous no matter what, and you're going to have to you know, kind of just push through that. And once you get the job, it's kind of like now you're doing what you love. And I think that's the biggest thing is, is I think one thing I've always thought about, like, you know, going through COVID and, and everything like that, just like not working for a while or just having like, you know, stale times and stuff is the second you walk back on set, it's like you've, you're doing it for the first time again. Like you get that same exact excitement. You get everything just being it's around rush, all the, yeah. crew, the cast that rush just comes right back. And it's the most addicting thing in the world, I think. Oh, absolutely. New, new episodes of season five of Yellowstone are continuing to roll out on Paramount uh, Network of Paramount+. Plus. Kai, thank you so much for coming on Pop Turtles. It was so great chatting with you, man. Yeah, so great, man. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Uh, your Instagram account, is it just your name? Is it just Kai Caster? Yeah, it's just Kai Caster. I think you could check that out as well. Awesome. This has been Pop yeah. Turner, youtube.com slash Pop Turner for previous episodes. Until next time, this is Kai Castro, who plays Rowdy in season five of Yellowstone on Paramount Network and Paramount Plus. And PD Beats, signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.